With the election clock ticking in the top end, Labor came out swinging. The CLP have had four years to get their shit together. And they still cannot tell you the total cost of their spending and what they will cut, who they will sack or what they will sell to pay for it. Who's going to get sacked? But with the NT's debt at a record $8.2 billion, the CLP was happy to return fire. She is the worst performing treasurer the Northern Territory has ever seen. And for her to come out swinging today against the country Liberal Party shows just how little a plan they have for the Territory's future. More than 42% of eligible voters have already cast their ballot at early voting centres. Among them, Territory Alliance leader Terry Mills. Mr Mills was under fire from Labor after refusing to submit his party's election costings to Treasury. When you recognise that you've got a government with the capacity to do that and much more, haven't even been able to provide a budget. But there were also questions about whether Labor was quietly making election promises to voters in remote Aboriginal communities after this story appeared on a local government website. We know the Chief Minister has been out in Gumbalanya promising a brand new remote health clinic. We know that other ministers have been out at community organisations spending hundreds of thousands of dollars of promises uh, to those community groups. They have not submitted their costings to Treasury, but we have. We've made no announcements that impact the bottom line anywhere, at any stage in any community. Um, yeah. After his press conference, the Chief Minister sought to clarify the situation, but wasn't keen to discuss it further on camera. No, no, so, um, I'll take you it later if you like. All right. <laughs> this election shapes as something of a test case in Australia. It's the first to be held in the time of coronavirus. Will voters reward the Chief Minister for his handling of that pandemic, or will he be punished for what some see as a mediocre performance over four years? Matt Cunningham, Sky News, Darwin.